You make treats for tonight, right? Yeah, I'll hit the bakery on the way to the pageant. Bakery? Unless you don't want me to hit the bakery up. No. So usually when you repeat what I say, knock your head up and down, it means you don't want me to do it. Just thinking homemade? Hey, no problem, Brad. Homemade stick do is come right up. Hey! How can me a game that catch your teeth? This is Critic and Fan, and this is our review for Daddy's Home 2. Let's go, what's going on in this movie? They're still trying to be co-dads, trying to get along. And for the most part, they do get along. And they're sort of friends, but they're still like, you know, some problems that need to work out. But now the grandparents show up at the same time, and they're like, you know what? Let's have Christmas together. So we don't have to do all this back and forth we should do on Christmas. Then after that, it's the same plot. Just funny thing after funny thing after funny thing after funny thing. Grandparents, parents, step-parents. It's, it's what it is. That's what this movie is. Overall, I, I enjoyed this movie. I was laughing almost throughout the entire film. Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg, they have great chemistry together. They are both really fun when they're on screen. I think everyone did a pretty good performance in this movie. There were two actors in this who were terrible, but they were hired for the looks and not for acting. So everybody else does a good enough job. Well, it doesn't really matter. You kind of forget about those two anyways. They have a small role. Now, there are problems with this film. Story-wise, it's not that great of a story. It is really similar to the first one, except it's Christmas time, and they're in the mountains where there's snow. The only real difference, having said that, it's okay for it to be the same. It's like this. If you get a scoop of ice cream, and then you're like, you know what? That was a good piece of ice cream. I want another piece. And so you go back, and get another scoop, you're not mad, oh my goodness, this tastes the same. No, you still enjoy it. Same thing with this movie. You know what you're getting into. It's not a serious movie, it's a comedy. They do wild things. It's not about the story, it is about the characters and how they grow and change. Even though not all characters grow and change, but who cares? It's a comedy. You're there to have a great time. The theater I went to was packed. There weren't any empty seats. Everybody was laughing the entire time. You just love these people. You love them on screen, you have a good time, and they entertain. That's the most important part of a movie, to be entertained, as you see that in both my reviews. If you want to see like a fun little holiday movie, go ahead and go see it. Now what would be really cool, if they get a third movie and they have a trilogy. The cool they had grandmothers. They can do whatever they want. Why not? Have fun with it. Anyways, that's my quick thoughts on this film. A good time, good laughs, and eh, story, but who cares? Be entertained. Let me know what did you guys think. If you've seen it, what is your favorite Mark Wahlberg and Wolf Hour movie? I think this is like the third one they did together. At least the third. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter at critic underscore and underscore fan. Please subscribe. Down below somewhere is button. Everybody have a good day.